I'm going to show you how to export MP4 videos using Final Cut Pro. When exporting videos from Final Cut Pro, your default options are either to use Apple ProRes or H.264. The H.264 option is great, and it's essentially the same thing as an MP4 file, but Final Cut likes to package it into an MOV file. You also can't change the bitrate of these presets, so the file size is what it is, and you have no control over it. Just as an example, here's an H.264 file from Final Cut. Looks great and the bitrate is around 50 megabits per second. Maybe a bit on the higher side, but it makes sure your video looks good. If you need to export an MP4 file, or you just want to adjust your bitrate to get the best balance between file size and image quality, you'll need to use Compressor to create a preset. Compressor has a ton of built-in presets, but none of them will give you MP4 files, so we'll just create our own. Click down here to create a preset and choose MPEG4 as the format. This creates an H.264 export, just like the one in Final Cut Pro, but as an MP4 file. Plus now you can manually adjust all your settings, including bitrate. If you're curious about bitrates, here's what Google officially recommends for YouTube videos. Also, if you want to learn more about Apple's compressor, I have a full guide on my channel on all the key features. I'll link this in the description if you want a master compressor. It's a simple yet powerful application. When making a preset, you can manually choose all your settings. I'm just going to change my bitrate here, and that's it. Now I can make MP4 exports directly in Compressor, or I can import this preset into Final Cut Pro. To add presets in Final Cut Pro, go to your Export menu and choose Add Destination. Then double-click Compressor Presets and choose your preset. Now you can rip MP4 exports directly from the drop-down menu here. And as you see here, the slight adjustment in bitrate we made saved about 100 megabytes in file size. So that's how you export MP4 from Final Cut Pro. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next tutorial.